parents of new babies have been asking me more and more questions about what is the best and safest way to put their infants down to sleep. Well, I don't want to lie down on the job on this one, so let me provide some information on the subject. Recently, the American Academy of Pediatrics came out with an updated set of safe sleep guidelines that emphasize the ABCs of safe sleep so as to prevent a sudden unexpected infant death. For example, A stands for alone, meaning your baby should sleep alone, not with other people, stuffed animals, pillows, or blankets. B stands for back sleeping, not on the side or stomach until your baby learns to roll over on his or her own. Why is the back better? Well, scientists aren't absolutely sure, but think it improves a baby's ability to breathe more freely or not to overheat. If you're worried that your baby will choke on his or her back, don't, since there is no evidence to support that this happens in otherwise healthy infants. And C, C stands for crib, the best place for a baby to sleep. Not in an adult bed or on a sofa, cushion, or other sleep surface, but the crib. The bedding you use should include a firm mattress, and bumpers should be removed from the crib in addition to all other objects, including blankets and pillows. These new safe sleep guidelines also call for room sharing for baby and parent, at least for the first six months of life and optimally for the first year of life, which has been found to decrease the rate of sudden unexpected infant death by as much as 50%. It's important to note that room sharing does not mean bed sharing in the same bed, but having your baby sleep in a crib in the same room. You can certainly bring your baby into your bed to feed her comfort, but when you're ready to go to sleep, then place your baby back into their crib and their safe sleep space. Finally, keep baby's room smoke free since exposure to passive smoke has been found to increase a baby's risk of experiencing sudden unexpected infant death. On the other hand, breastfeeding and vaccinations have been shown to reduce that risk so that hopefully safety tips like these will position you and your baby in good standing and allow you and your baby to get back to sleep, get it back to sleep by making sure your baby is placed in a safe sleep environment. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.